Hi guys, in this video I will talk about the edge computing paradigm in general and some workload orchestration techniques for multi-tier, multi-access edge computing systems. Since my presentation is too long, I divided it into four sections and created a playlist. I hope it will be helpful for you. Well, this is my agenda for today. Firstly, I will introduce the edge computing systems, challenges and our contributions. Then I will explain our three journal papers related to this domain in the other videos of this playlist. OK, let's start with the edge computing paradigm. Edge computing brings data processing and storage closer to the end users. It actually allows the clients to get services from the micro cloud located at the edge of the network. As a result of this philosophy, the powerless embedded mobile devices can handle complex operations. In the figure, you can see a generic edge computing architecture with clients, edge and cloud servers. Here the class server is not mandatory, but the broadband access will be needed for most of the scenarios. Instead of the edge servers, you may think about using the local resources or conventional cloud servers. Yes, you can do it, but will probably encounter some problems. First of all, many mobile devices have limited computing resources and battery. You can also operate a cloud-based solution, but in this case, high latency and unpredictable bandwidth on wide area network will cause problems. And this will have a negative impact on the quality of service, especially for the time-intensive applications. Finally, you have a single point of failure issue in this architecture. If your cloud server is somehow terminated, your clients cannot get any service. Before going further, I want to highlight the evolution of edge computing. Actually, edge computing philosophy is not new. It was used before 2000 as well. Mobile edge computing term was first used in 2005, and we also used this term in our previous publications. Then Satya introduced cloud-led concept in 2009. After this proposal, mobile cloud computing became popular. Then Cisco introduced defog computing concept, which is similar to mobile cloud computing. In 2015, Edge introduced mobile edge computing and we started using this term in our studies. In 2017, Edge changed the MEC acronym as multi-access edge computing. And again, we started using this term since it was more popular. As a result, there are many similar approaches proposed in this domain, so we prefer to use edge computing as an umbrella term. There are some emerging technologies that drives edge computing. For example, we have AI and ML-based services with complex operations. There are also augmented reality applications, which needs real-time response. Intelligent transportation system use cases, where the clients are highly mobile. The Internet of Things applications, that streams vast amount of data. And finally, Industry 4.0 scenarios, which need really high data rates. Although, Edge computing provides some advantages, there are many challenges too. Here I listed a few of them, which are experimenting on these systems, resource orchestration, high user mobility, network slicing techniques, security and privacy issues, interoperability and portability issues. I want to highlight the first three of them. 
The experimenting challenge is faced by the researchers who are evaluating the performance of different use cases. If you try to implement a real solution, the development and deployment difficulty as well as the cost is a problem. If you want to use a testbed, setting up and maintaining scalable and repeatable tests is not easy. Therefore, most researchers use simulators, but there are limited edge computing simulators available in the field. The resource orchestration is another broad challenge that includes many sub-problems. We have some popular questions in this domain, which, how, when and where to offload. We mostly try to find the answer of where to offload problem in our works. Of course, the orchestration includes many other problems such as scaling the cloud resources horizontally or vertically, virtual machine migration, and etc. Another popular challenge that we have to deal with is the mobility. Our primary domain is mobile edge computing, so the clients are mobile. As a result, we need to think about the handover and data synchronization issues. In addition, from the simulation point of view, we need to model realistic mobility patterns. OK, let me summarize our contributions. We started our work by experimenting on edge computing systems and proposed our open source simulator. Then we analyzed different edge computing architectures and focused on the workload orchestration problem. After that, we proposed two novel workload orchestrations for both edge computing and vehicle edge computing areas. This is the last slide of this part. I hope everything is clear up to now. You can see our publications on this domain. In the next videos of this playlist, I will mainly talk about three journal papers shown in red color. You can consider watching the other videos if you are interested. Thanks for watching. I hope it would be helpful for you.